this is not a draw of you on. Wendy is back. I repeat, Wendy is back. And is it just me or am I the only one that keeps watching the video? Their Milky Way live video just to catch all the glances that the members are giving to Wendy. They look so happy, especially now that she's back and healthy, especially Silky and Joy. Joy is rather joyful. Get it? Joy. Joyful. Play on words. Haha. <laughs> just me? Okay. And especially now, Joy's going to need all her friends having her back and watching out for her because she has been under a lot of hate recently for a past photos, which makes no sense. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Joy posted a, a few old photos on her Instagram after from when her and Sugi were appointed ambassadors to promote clean air in South Korea. And in the photo, she's wearing a shirt. The chair says we should all be feminists, and it did not go over too well with the public. Some people took offense to it, saying that she's being quote-unquote controversial, knowing what the chair meant. And it being controversial, she still wore it and posted it on her Instagram. Anyway, however, many people did come to her defense Thanks. saying First that. First of all, what's wrong with the shirt? And second, she endorses the brand Dior, so it's not like out of the ordinary to think that she would wear a shirt, a shirt that's designed by the brand that she is endorsing. Shout out to K-pop stars that gave an explanation. So it basically said that we Westerners see sees feminists as women and, women and the advocacy of women's rights on the basis of equality. But in Korea and other Asian countries, they see it as a more radical movement, leading to more women's superiority. superiority. Maybe to us, it's interpreted as bringing women up, while in Korea, they may see it as something different. But... The photo is still up on her Instagram. If you guys still want to take a look at it, I love how she stood her ground and did not let them take them down and let others' opinions force her to acquire herself. Since, Since obviously Joy is not scared of the public, I've always wanted to know if she is scared of ghosts because it seems that Seventeen won one who she can see them. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering what the heck am I talking about now Seventeen who she and one can see ghosts. But if you guys haven't watched the recent Going 17 episode where 17 members participated in a haunted house where they had to find a key and escape, and escape before getting caught by the staff members and being eliminated. But when it was Bono's turn, he ran around the haunted house as everyone else did, but apparently he saw a female ghost, which is very weird. When he came out, he asked the staff if there was a female ghost and all the staff members said, no, there wasn't. There was only male staff members just as females so everyone was very confused then after some of the other members did their turn Hoshi came out and also said he saw a female ghost the same female ghost that one who did in the same creepy so room so i'm kind of wondering if they have a connection to the ghost or not tell me what you guys think in the comments down below now i'm debating if i should address the whole kyla drama and everything that's happening on twitter and the dm her replying but i decided to wait because it has stuff to do with 17 and the company and a lot of other people but because their company did not address it and we all know how easy it is to fake messages on instagram i decided to wait and see what happens if they respond to the drama or not but other than that i think i'll just leave it at that i wanted to end this off on a high note but have you guys seen cards gunshot music video that just got released oh my god i've had it on repeat it is amazing. If you guys have not listened to it, definitely check it out. And tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. See you guys next time.